this is Jill Russo Foster and in this week's edition of Money Choices I want to talk to you about holiday tipping it's something that I'm asked about it's something that comes up and wanted to talk to you about it now in November before we get to the holidays so in our household we make a plan first of all I want to say that good service doesn't have to wait till the holidays but we make a plan that goes from Thanksgiving to New Year's we make a list of the people that we want to tip, and that could be the mailman, it could be the hairdresser, the teachers, whatever it is, make your list. Figure out what you want to give. It doesn't always have to be cash. There are times when, you know, we don't want to break the budget, but a nice thank you note, um, you could do a token gift. One of the things I've done when I've had exemplary service is call the company and tell the supervisor how great somebody was. It's rare that they get a call about that. But if you do do tipping and you do want to do cash, presentation I think is important. So it should have a note card because they're getting tips so you want them to know who it's from. A nice crisp bill if you're choosing to do cash or a gift card. Um, the gift card is fine. I would make it generic unless you know where this person shops or what they like. A generic gift card would work. Um, I also think you should do it in person. Um, hand it to them when you get your hair cut. Um, you know, hand it to the mailman when he delivers that package. But space it out between Thanksgiving and New Year's so that it doesn't ruin your budget and plan ahead. It's in there along with your holiday gifts. It's a thing that happens every year and costs that occur. If you wanna know about amounts, I would suggest looking on the website because I'm not gonna get into that. Um, and also for my readers, I wanna let you know there's a special offer in this newsletter for my new book. So check that out as well. Until next time, this is Jill Russo Foster.